So medicines that can be purchased over the counter. Well, this policy has been developed after discussions with local GPs and it has the support of the local medical committee. It was signed off by the governing body in November 16. Now, the CCG spends over a million pounds a year on medicines that can be purchased without a prescription. So the policy outlines that prescribers are requested not to routinely prescribe medicines that are available from pharmacies and supermarkets. And in fact, in uh, GMC guidance, it's acknowledged that prescribing um, does not always mean um, uh, providing a prescription. And the term is also used by the GMC to describe many related activities, including giving written information or verbal advice and on advising patients on the purchase of over-the-counter medicines and other remedies. So uh, feedback from GPs suggests that this is nothing new and um, GPs already routinely say, for example, to patients you need to buy some paracetamol or ibuprofen or an antihistamine and they know that many patients will be happy to get these over the counter if, if uh, as I say, not from a supermarket. But some GPs have said they will feel more comfortable providing the patient with some standardised written information where an over-the-counter product is, is being recommended. And of course, whilst there's loads of information on the internet, we would always advise patients to make use of the NHS Choices website as a first port of call. And we've produced a few patient leaflets on our website on the common over-the-counter products that doctors um, frequently recommend. So if you'd like to um, record um, in the notes what you said to your patient you can link to these or even import them into your own clinical system so there's a record then of what you've said. Um, frankly local community pharmacies are probably the best place to, to for patients to get the best advice on medicines that are going to be purchased. Now depending on where you practice most doctors and nurses will know which patients will struggle to afford drugs that um, they could get free on the NHS and all we're asking of uh, prescribers is to minimise um, the expectation of prescribing over-the-counter drugs and, and we want to spend that money on services that people um, can't buy. Um, in my practice I've been telling patients about this by saying something like um, the local NHS is under a lot of financial pressure and has decided that patients should buy products that are available over-the-counter where they can afford to do so are you able to buy these drugs yourself without uh, an NHS prescription? And the vast majority of patients are, are happy to do so. The, the policy certainly isn't about describe, depriving patients who can't afford over-the-counter medicines of those drugs. It's about trying to, to get the best value from the very limited resources that the NHS has got. And we certainly don't want to exacerbate health inequalities. Uh, the policy is being supported by a CCG media campaign called It's In Our Hands and it's our NHS, let's take care of it. So we hope that the public will start to become more aware of the need to make use of NHS resources. So hopefully people will have seen the posters and leaflets um, about this, both within your practice and in, in local pharmacies.